back here, the situation on Mars has changed drastically. Now, Balram's war potential is very strong. Hello all, and welcome to another episode of Tom Plays. We're playing Zone of the Enders, the second runner, Mars, for PS4. So it surprised me, I did not know that this game had a PS4 release. It's actually a game I own on PS2, PS3 and now PS4. But it may surprise you to hear that I've only played it for a very short amount of time. Um, and that would have been the PS2 version. So first things first, in case that was a little bit loud and you missed my intro, I'm going to just drop the audio level down a bit. That should be okay. Look at these Metal Gear style options menus. I'll pop on, pop on the old uh, chat here. So if you want to uh, chat to me while I'm playing, feel free. I'm trying to do this every Wednesday now. I'm, I'm back here. So... This should be a regular thing. I haven't started doing weekend streams again soon, but I might do uh, soon enough. I mean, I, I haven't started doing them yet. Not soon. <laughs> There's VR in this game. And uh, I haven't tried that out yet. But if I press triangle, I could do some VR. But I haven't got the headset connected. So we're just going to go straight into it. Now, I've got a little piece of paper here that came with it saying there's two control schemes, Classic and Pro. So, with Classic, you have to change weapons in the menu screen, where I think is in Pro. Uh, you can do so without pausing. You can select the sub-weapons without pausing the game. I'm a little unsure which one to go for. I'm tempted to go Classic because... I'm no pro. So let's just go classic for now and see if we'll be fine with that one. And I might go easy because I am pretty much new to Zone of the Enders. So this will be the first time I'm really getting stuck in with it. I probably have played it for about an hour previously on the PS2. Yeah, remember this is a PS2 game on the PS4, so we'll see what it looks like and how it handles on the PS4, a significantly more powerful bit of hardware. So far, so good. I remember this part of the game. Nice bit of rumble going on here. The typical Hideo Kojima style. Presented beautifully as always. Angie, I remember now. The winner of the year was Hesperia Gales. In the final 30 seconds, Henry G trashed out from field out. Man, we had a great time that night. 20 to touchdown. Can't wait for the new season. Position for landing. The people on Mars can start getting excited. I still have 200 more hours. Be a good kid and the time will fly. <laughs> That's unusual. What is? Indications of Metatron, but it's way too shallow. Angie, I want to change the landing. There's point. a constant slight out. rumble okay. here. It's quite it's Rick quite effective. Dad, I'll be back soon. Dingo. What team won in 66? I don't know much about back then. Ah. Piece of junk. Canceled. I reckon 
reckon Rod Tharsis is going to win this year. <laughs> there goes your entire salary again. I'm sure of it. Oh dear. Dingo, I think the Metatron reaction is cool. the rest of the era. Use the left stick to move, the right stick to aim the camera. This thing's a bit there. Uh, Chuggy, isn't it? Well, I'm actually pressing the the L. Actually, the controls aren't as they say they are because it said that the right stick turned the camera. It actually turns the uh, character. So it's quite confusing. And L3 didn't actually... Um, I wonder if the game itself doesn't change its tutorial. Camera on nine, classic. It's what it says. Negative reaction. Negative reaction. Camera. Intriguing. This thing's so slow. I don't know how we're meant to react because it's not doing it when I press the the button. Come on. I'm on the ground. Metatron is not very deep. And it's very strong. It wasn't here last time I came. Going back. Going back. Going Shut up. Is it debris? The observation crews are goofing off again. What the hell is that? Anything wrong? Found something interesting. I'll check it out. You wouldn't think it was a PS2 game to look at it, would you? Apart from maybe the low resolution of the cutscenes, as you're seeing here. I've got a bad feeling. What? An orbital frame. Uh, I see a huge ship over there! Uh, What's happening, Angie? What ship did you see? Uh, Angie! Damn! A warship? It must be Bara. Oh dear. I feel this would be a good one for Digital Foundry to, to check out. Because... It's got three, at least three versions that I know of, on different systems. Dingo! My limb is damaged. Damn Barum. Barum? From Mars? How can you tell? Get your ship down into the ditch and stay hidden. Uh, uh. Uh. 
very uh, story-driven so far. Good morning. Ready for combat operation. Let's get into some action, shall we? That's one cool looking robot. Strangely phallic thing protruding from his groin. These things don't look so tough. Enemy approaching. Verified as unmanned orbital frame. Raptor. Yes. Oh, now this is cool. So, square is like a regular attack. Press square to get the target you like to do. The distance from the target determines the attack type. Raptor destroyed. There you go. They were easy. Confirming the enemy destroyed. What is the efficiency of this frame? This is orbital frame Jehuti. Do you want me to explain how to manipulate the frame? Who is this? This is detached backup battle unit, Ada. So this is a battle computer, isn't it? More reliable than the Lev's navigators. I'm completely different. Do you request control instructions? Yes, Ada. Please. Thanks, Ada. Please choose what training you want to go oh, through. Oh, really? We're going to do it the training like this, are I'll we? I'll explain about moving. Okay. Jehuti follows the left stick operations. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's the kind of thing you don't need to explain. Press the yeah. triangle button to ascend. Oh, Press right. Press the X button to descend. Press okay. the R2 button while moving to dash. Right. Enough of that. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll just uh, whiz through these. I will explain about normal attack. It's square. When the enemy is at long distance range, the lock on marker turns green. It turns red when the enemy is at close range. When the target is distant, press the square button, which will fire a shot. When the enemy is at close range, press the square button, which will do a In close a range, range attack. Battle, you will initiate a slashing yep. attack by pressing the square button. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah, okay. Now if I was to be close. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Dash attack. I will explain about dash attacks. Oh, please do. Press the square button while dashing to mm. perform a dash attack. Yeah. Could have guessed that. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. I don't know what I'm trying to do that's different. Anyway. We'll move on. Burst attack. I don't know what this is. I will explain about burst attacks. Oh, please do. When Jehuti is not moving, you can change to burst mode by pressing the R2 button. You can perform burst attacks by pressing the square button in this mode. A right. close range burst attack is a burst blade attack. There you go. And what a long range one. Ah, okay. Yeah, this seems fairly intuitive. I will explain how to guard yourself. By pressing the R1 button, Jehuti takes a guard position and can block enemy attacks. 
Nice. But not all attacks can be blocked. Okay. Okay, just a couple more to do. Lock on. I will explain how to switch between locked targets. I this isn't the most exciting when bit Jehuti to watch. Gets but close enough to an enemy, Jehuti locks on automatically. Oh, easy. What about manually? Enemies, you can select an enemy to lock onto. Okay. Just kind of look at it and press. Okay. Uh, manual switch right stick. So you just tap it. Okay. Yep. No props. We got that. Ring radar. I will explain yes. about the ring radar. Please do. When an enemy gets close to Jehuti, the ring radar appears. The ring radar turns green when the enemy is far away. It turns orange when the enemy gets closer. The size of the ring radar represents the distance from the enemy. When an attack from outside the screen approaches Jehuti, a red ring radar appears. In this case, the marker shows the direction oh, and okay. of the incoming attack. Right. I get it. I get it. Combo smash. I will explain about combo smash. Combo smash. In a close range battle, you can perform a combo smash with a normal <laughs> blade attack. Okay. Press the square button three times consecutively. Is that it? If the fourth press is the square button, you will slash and push back the enemy. But it could be another button? What does the circle button does? If the fourth press is the triangle button, you will slash and right, toss okay, the cool. enemy. If the fourth press is the X button, you will slash and throw down the enemy. I get it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Just one more. The camera. I will explain about camera control. If you are not locked on, Jehuti will move in the direction of the left stick. If you release the left stick, the camera will capture Jehuti from behind. Mm -hmm. You can also change the camera angle with the right stick. That seems fairly straightforward. When aiming at a certain spot to attack, you can move the target marker with the right stick. Okay, let's get this over with. We're not going to target through the... Yeah, it sort of moves... The camera's like situated behind him. But yeah, okay, I get it. Ending training. I think I should be able to manage with that. I really want to get stuck into some action. We found our objective at point zero four. Roger. Departing for zero four. Oh, it's the big boy. Enemy. Or girl. Unmanned battle plane. Come on, Jehuti. Let's do this. Unmanned combat aircraft, mosquito. Individual attacks are weak, but be careful. There are many of them. Attack the mosquitoes all at once with the homing laser. Aha. I can't even remember learning the homing laser. But there you go.
Put me through to 663. Yes, I'll connect you now. Help me, Dingo! Where are you? My legs are damaged. Rick! I like you can move around this cockpit when you're watching the cutscene. Don't move! I'll be there soon! Enemy approaching. I feel like there's too little action before you, the, you get a cutscene and have to do something else. It's approaching your way! Rick. I kind of like destroying enemies. It's quite easy to play. So that's yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You can use uh, dash to sort of run away as well. Yeah, you just feel very smooth. A little awkward though, still. I think it's more... Obviously that charge up shot. But I'm not sure you do the homing missile shot. Right, okay. Okay. We'll keep following this. Burst was R2 and Stop moving and keep pressing the R2 button, then hit the square button for a burst attack. Yeah, we did it. Lovely design in this. I, I do forget I'm playing a PS2 game.
very nice it's got a PS4 release. Since I found Jehuti, you'll have to give it to me. What does Barra want with Callisto? Oh? You don't look like a mining man Oops. to me. Get lost! You have Okay. Hand over Jehuti. Go with. Shoot down the enemy's attack with those too easy. Gosh, yeah. The action is fast, isn't it? R1's the block. Okay. Remember that. Oh. Want to lock on. Works quite well smashing them down. Oh dear, that wasn't good. Yes. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make it then. So you want this frame, don't you? Maybe. Even if you're bar on, that's too rough. It sure is. Who's the commander? You think I'll tell? The story moves at quite a pace. It's hard really to know what's going on. Who am I really? What what am I doing? Why have I found this? Who is she? Are you alright? Yeah. Dingo, the enemy is approaching me. Alright, I'll try to head them off. You will? Take care, Angie. What? don't do something, we'll be crushed along with Callisto. We have no choice. Is that like first mission over? Or is this like second mission now? Makes me want to see uh, Metal Gear 2 or 3 on the PS4 actually. I think this visual style is very appealing. These are quite tough. It has a, a bit of a res flavor about it, doesn't it? looking game okay this way you can grab objects which may be useful ah uh, that's, that's a circle but you want to see how it's done yes please well I uh, maybe it's as straightforward as that you press circle by an object let's see <laughs> I will explain about grabbing objects. Yeah. Jehuti can grab and use objects around it by pressing the circle button. Ah, oh, okay. 
When Jehuti is grabbing an object, press the square button for a powerful close range attack with the object. I guess it's circle to when drop Jehuti it as well. When holding an object, press the circle button again to throw it. Mm -hmm. Jehuti can guard itself with some objects from normally unguardable attacks by pressing the R1 button. Okay. Some objects will explode on impact. Sounds good. The okay, so. Nice. Or we can go right up close and do that. We can block with a, this uh, throw. We can also use the burst. Okay. Pretty straightforward stuff. Can we grab an enemy as well? It's I probably just circle. Grab an enemy. By pressing the circle button near an enemy, Jehuti can grab it. You can also grab a guarding enemy. Cool. And use it to bash the other enemy. When Jehuti is holding an enemy, press the square button to swing it around as a weapon. <laughs> okay. Then we can use it as a burst. I like throwing them, that's pretty cool. Okay. Right, got the gist of that. Let's get Ending back to training. it. Destroy the cellar generating enemies. Confirm destruction of cellar. Obtain Metatron. There, these are the weapons. Enemy approaching. Long distance support type, mummy head. Be careful. Raptor destroyed. What's this? The music's very good, isn't it? After all, they want this frame, don't they? Did you board this even though you knew? I didn't want to involve my friends. Also, there's something I have to confirm. I'd like to confirm what on earth's going on. The gate to the next unit is open. Please follow... What? Jehuti. Jehuti. Target Bravo. I'm coming. Huh? 
only six me to pick up. What's wrong? The enemy shield is not damaged by an energy attack. You will need to make a physical ah. attack. Ah. A physical attack? A blade or something used in close combat. Right. It seems the blades can't reach it. Look for something useful to attack. Throw it. I'm trying to grab the stick and throw it. Wow, okay. Didn't seem to be hitting her, did it? Is I not logged on or something? Locked on. She's very good at dodging. I don't quite know what I did there. Do you only have to hit it the one time with the the stick? Is that you, Viola? Perhaps you're speaking to a battle AI. Who? She's AI. Hey, Viola. It is just a This is not a great um, example of storytelling, is it? <laughs> so, what happened to Viola? The applicable frame runner is already dead. She died? In the year 2172, the Antilia raid. It was a matter under the control of the Space Force. Balram attacked the colony orbiting a satellite of Jupiter and stole an orbital frame which was under development. Was she involved with that? Which orbital frame was taken? The orbital frame Anubis. Jehuti was their target too, but they didn't get this frame. Jehuti was collected by someone who had much to fear from Balram before it was abandoned on Callisto. <laughs> that is about right. Who was commanding the Antilia raid? That was wow. The of Bahram, Colonel Noman. What on earth are they chatting? What's the matter? It is a resonance reaction. Resonance? It is a nervous. I don't. Makes me wish all PS2 games get this treatment, or at least the really good ones. This one looks tough. I know how to guard, thank you.
Norman. <laughs> oh golly. It's Dingo. Norman. Norman. The, the rumbling is very effective. Alive, Dingo. Long time no see, Noman. How have you been? I've been on vacation. You get off. That sounds an awful lot like Steve Bloom, who did the voice of Spike in Cowboy Bebop, and many, many other things. Ooh. I think the only thing that looks a little rough in this uh, version are the cutscenes, because if only on anyway? these were HD. If anything happens to my pals on Callisto, you'll pay. I didn't kill them. I don't believe you. Your skills are getting worse, Dingo. You've been slacking off. No man. Ooh, he's spooky on, isn't he? Noman. Noman. Ken, back off. Let me introduce you to Dingo. He was the leading pilot in our unit six years ago. Dingo, Egret? Military records show him dead. You're doing rather menial work compared to the old days. Have you been demoted to the outskirts? Shut up. You have come back under my command. It's like you're watching and the TV's you been steamed be up. You'd better come back. It'll be fun from now Or my glasses steamed up. No, it's just not sharp. You're fooling around almost killed me back there. It's not funny. You don't understand. You can't deceive me with beautiful words like freedom and independence anymore. Do you realize how many of my comrades died back there? Say it. You killed them. I wouldn't know. You devil! Dingo! Come back. I like you. You make me sick. Looks like Klingon blood in Star Trek 6. It's pretty dramatic stuff. Those violins. But Dingo!
Wow, that we're not even into the game yet. That was the prologue. The prologue of Zony Ender's second runner. I've never heard anything like this before. Are you sure this order is from Colonel Noman? If not, why would I be doing such a thing? But Colonel Noman killed him. Ready? Please begin. Dingo. He's a funny looking fella. It's like watching anime. Well, effectively, it is watching anime, isn't it, right now? With your controller rumbling. He's got a stable pulse. Thank you, you can go now. Uh, okay. Well, they brought him back to life. Awake? You've been asleep for two months. Uh. I shaved your beard. Ada, please look after him. If I have to. Where am I? You're on Demo Station, the gateway to Mars. How are you feeling? I feel really sick. It's better than feeling dead, isn't it? I didn't die, did I? You didn't, but you did lose your heart and lungs. So how can I still be alive? You can only stay alive when you're aboard Jehuti. Jehuti? The machine supplements your heart and lungs. That power comes from Jehuti. Oh my what? lord. The minute you get off Jehuti, it will stop providing energy. You will die if you leave Jehuti. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Well, try it if you like. stupid or insane how could you do this to me i had no choice the cockpit is too small to put in all the gear needed to keep you alive i didn't want this i told you if you helped me i would save your life i don't remember when did you say that just before when you nearly died i don't remember you should be more appreciative of me i saved your life looked after you and kept you hidden from the other crew for two months damn Hook me up to proper vitals. I can give your real body back, so you'd better just accept my orders. Right. Don't be ridiculous. How can I follow Baram? I'm not Baram. What? Quite the opposite. I'm this was a bargain price game, by the way. Yeah, but it's brand new for about five pounds. So I was quite happy with that. The physical copy as well. Why not? The lovely shiny cover. Typical Kojima talking too much. You're in danger if we stay here wasting time talking. It's hard for a dead man to understand. You are still alive. So what? Let's get no, chopping some robots up. Too. Don't you want vengeance on him? This can move the right stick around. My comrades. I have the same Look, his hands. So I won't do anything bad to you. Can I just ask you one question? What? Is it correct this year's winner was Hesperia Gales? What? Can't you be more serious? I'm very serious. Do you know the answer? We've no time for games on Mars. There's no time for games, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. We're back in the action. But I'm actually going to have to leave it there, unfortunately. Uh, so, um, if this has you intrigued, then why not pick a copy of Zone of Enders? Second runner, it's available on PS2, PS3, PS4, <laughs> uh, Xbox 360, I think. 
But um, yeah, that's been me playing a little bit of Zone on the End of Second Runner. Thanks so much for watching, and until I see you again for another Tom Plays, it's goodbye and game on. <laughs>